Hi, in this video we're in Microsoft Word and we want to explore the little anchor symbol that sometimes appears uh, around an object when you insert, for example, a picture or a smart art, uh, a drawing object or something like that into a Word document. You sometimes see a little anchor and we're just going to explore what that anchor is useful for. Now, by default, if you insert a picture or a clip art into the document, you don't see an anchor. Uh, the anchor only appears when the object's actually floating over the text. Now, by default, when you when you put a picture into a document, uh, it's actually inserted in line with text. So it's almost as if it's another character or another letter within your paragraph. Um, now, I'm in uh, Word 2013, and that gives me the option to wrap the text uh, in a specific way. In your version, you might may need to find uh, another menu for this. But, for example, I've got various wrapping options. I've got square. Now, as soon as I do that, you can see the little anchor pops up. Now, if I point my mouse pointer over that anchor, it tells me um, that the selected object is anchored to the text at this location in the document. So what the anchor tells me is, is that this picture is anchored to this paragraph. Now what that means is, is if I move this paragraph, this picture will move with it. So let me just show you this. What I'm going to do is just click at the beginning of the paragraph and press enter. And you can see that the picture is moving down with the paragraph. Now, if I click on this object, um, you and I go to my wrap options, there is also an object that says fixed position on page. Now, if I click on that and then move this paragraph, you can see that the um, object is actually staying in the same place. But if I click on the image, you can see that the anchor is still on the paragraph that I originally put the picture in. So the object is still anchored to the paragraph. And if I move this paragraph to another page, you can see that the picture also moves with the paragraph. It's in the same position on the page as on the previous page, but it's moved with the paragraph because it's anchored to it. Now, I'm just going to undo that to take us back to where we were before. Now, there is another option that you should know about uh, with anchoring. Uh, I'm going to go back to this button here and I'm going to go down to see more. And there is an option here called lock anchor. Now, if I click on OK and I move this object around, you can see that the anchor has stayed in the or to the left of the paragraph that the image was uh, originally in. So that means if I move this paragraph that it appears, this image appears to be in, the image stays where it is because it is in fact anchored to this paragraph. Now I'm going to undo this again so it isn't anchored and I'm going to show you what happens if the image isn't anchored to the paragraph uh, as in it's not locked to the paragraph. Now if I move this image down you can see that the anchor moves to the next paragraph. If I lock it lock anchor and move the image down you can see that the anchor stays in position so that's how the lock anchor attribute works okay so a short video here on the anchor symbol and how it's useful in microsoft word hopefully that's helpful